to Avanti Help. Today we are talking about setting up notification services for Apple Mobile Device Management in Endpoint Manager. Notification services make it so your mobile devices can communicate with Endpoint Manager. Apple devices use the Apple Push Notification Service or APNS. In this video, we will go over how to set up APNS, which involves creating a certificate request, obtaining a certificate from Apple, converting the certificate to a PKCS12 format, and adding it to the management console. After setting up APNS, you will be able to enroll iOS, macOS, and tvOS devices in Endpoint Manager. Before we begin, make sure you know your Apple ID and your core credentials. You will need them for your certificate request. You also need to do this on the core server, since certificate requests must be made from the server the certificate is meant for. First, we will create a certificate request using the Landesk Push Certificate Portal. Navigate to https apnsportal.landesk.com and log in using your core credentials. I want to create a certificate for the current version, so I'm just going to press start. If you want to create a certificate for a different version, this is where you would select the version you want. Enter your company's common name in the text box here and click download. This will create a csr.inf file. This file contains the information you need to create a certificate request. To create the request, click the start menu and search for the command prompt application. Right click it and run it as an administrator. Type CERTREQ space dash new and hit enter. Browse to the CSR.inf file you just downloaded and click OK. Save your new .req file and head back to the certificate portal. Now we are going to browse to our .req file and upload it to be signed by Avanti. Once it is signed, a request.plist file will download automatically. This is your completed signed certificate request. Now you can submit your certificate request to Apple to create your APNS certificate. Click the Apple Push Certificate Portal link to head over to the Apple site. Log in with your Apple ID and click Create a Certificate. Now you can use the Notes field to make notes for yourself like when the certificate was created or why. Now choose your request.plist file and upload it to the Apple site. Once your certificate PEM file is created, download it. You should also make a note of the expiration date of the certificate because you will need to renew it yearly. Now to convert our certificate to PKCS12 format. Open Internet Information Services Manager, also known as IIS, and select your core and double click the server certificates, complete certificate request. Select the PEM file you received from Apple, enter a friendly name for the certificate, and click OK. Now select your certificate from the list and click Export. Select where the certificate will be saved and create a password for the private key. This gives you your certificate in the correct format for Endpoint Manager. Now that we have our certificate all ready, we can import it into the Endpoint Manager console and finish up. Bring up the Management Console and navigate to the Mobility settings by clicking Configure, MDM Configurations, Mobility. Browse to and select your APNS certificate with the PFX extension and enter the certificate password. Then click Verify to make sure your password and your certificate match. If it isn't already selected, select your CSA from the CSA Mobility dropdown. Now click OK to save everything and you are done! You can now enroll iOS, macOS, and tvOS Apple devices in Endpoint Manager. For information about enrolling devices and other Endpoint Manager features, see the online help at help.avanti.com or visit the Avanti community.